If you're like us, then you're probably fascinated with energy technology and ways to use renewable energy sources. But just what exactly are these renewable energy sources and how do they come to be? Well, that and more coming up next. Hi, I'm Teresa with Constellation, where we shed light on renewable energy options for communities across the US. Subscribe to the channel now, and if you'd like the notes to this video, click the link in the comments section. Renewable energy sources are sweeping across the country in dramatic measures. In 2016 alone, renewable energy accounted for 12.2% of the total energy consumption in the US. Would you have guessed that hydroelectric power produces the most renewable energy in our country? Now, before I get ahead of myself, let's look at all the major renewable energy sources we use in the United States and how far they've come since they were first used. First, renewable energy means that these resources can be replenished many times over a short period of time. Oftentimes we think of the sun, the wind, or water. And actually we've been using these as energy sources for thousands of years, but it hasn't been until recently that we've been able to harness them for use for the masses. Other types of renewable energy sources are geothermal, the Earth's natural heat, and biomass fuels like ethanol and biodiesel. Now, as I stated earlier, hydroelectric power produces the most renewable energy in America today. However, nearly 2,000 years ago, the Greeks used water to generate the power to grind wheat into flour. Today, most of the electricity is generated through dams and turbines, the largest being the Grand Coulee Dam in Washington, generating more than 21 billion kilowatt hours of electricity each year. That's enough power to supply 2.3 million households with electricity for one year. Were you thinking the Hoover Dam was the largest? Well, as iconic as the Hoover Dam is, it comes in at the sixth largest hydroelectric power station in America. Oh, the power of wind. Wind power is also a technology that has been around for a long time in various forms. Wind helped propel boats along the Nile River as early as 5000 BC, and Persians were using the awesome power of wind to pump water and grind grain as far back as 900 BC. Today, California wins the top honor for one of the largest wind farms in America, called the Mojave Wind Farm, located in the hot Mojave Desert. It has over 600 operational units and is third largest onshore wind energy project in the whole world. Who would have thought the desert could supply so much energy? When it comes to the sun, humans figured out around 7 BC that concentrating sunlight on a glass created fire. In the 1700s, the first solar oven was invented and it's still being used today. But I'm guessing that when you think of solar energy, solar panels are what likely come to mind. The science behind solar power for panels started in 1839 when a scientist discovered that a voltage is created when material is exposed to light. A few science experiments and scientists later created the first solar cell and later developed the technology used for solar panels. Now solar panels can be used on your roof just for your home or they can be part of solar energy farms or plants. And wouldn't you know it, California also gets top honors here for one of the largest solar thermal power plants in the US called the Ivanpah Solar Power Facility. Wow, renewable energy sources are amazing. They've definitely come a long way and are gaining popularity on a national and global level. I can't wait to see where they take us next. Thanks for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, remember to like and subscribe to this channel for more energy saving tips. Remember, you can download the notes to this video for any report by clicking the link in the comment section. Don't forget to cite Constellation as your source. Also remember to download our energy savings guide filled with cutting edge strategies designed to help you save money and energy. Just click the link in the description box below to find out more. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.